FIFA 20 is out, and if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team coins to get your dream squad, make sure you check out my sponsor, u7buy.com. They provide a cheap and reliable service for coins and accounts. Link in the description. Use your code Haber and get yourself an extra 5% off when you are at the checkout. Yo, what's up, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, you're probably thinking this is a little bit different to videos I typically do on my channel. This is not a trading video. I just wanted to sort of talk you guys through what I would do at the start of FIFA, how I would make coins, and the sort of easiest way to make coins as well because these SBCs, the advanced SBCs, they are ridiculously good for making coins. They are, you know, EA put them in the game deliberately to um, to help people make coins, to be honest, or at least I feel like that anyway. So it's a great way to get a good start at the start of the game. So I'm on a brand, well, it's not a brand new account. This is my account from last year. Um, this is the, the second account I made last year. So it's as if I've started completely fresh. We've got Four all players packs, a lone reward pack, and two gold packs. I am going to essentially start off FIFA in the same fashion that you guys will uh, in the next couple of days or already have. And I'm going to typically, I'm going to show you what I would typically do and how I would typ typically, I can't even speak today, typically approach the SBCs and stuff like that. So we're going to start off with our first gold pack, and um, and we've actually got a rare, which is decent. So first things first, you want to try and open up all these packs and see are you going to get anything good. If not, are you going to discard the players? Are you going to try and sell them for a little bit more? Are they going to be helpful in SBCs? So we're going to start off with Schweinsteiger, Huanling, or Jan Hunling, and Henderson. Um, Schweinsteiger might be, yeah, I thought I thought he might be about 700 coins, but to be honest, I don't think he's really going to be worth much. Um, so what I would typically do is discard those items. We've got 1,000 coins, which is a good start. We've got a Hawk Chem style, which might be a little bit of coins. Um, what's it going for? Like 600 coins. That's pretty decent. So we'll go ahead and list that up for... 515 hopefully get a sale um and these are like you don't have to do this if you guys don't want to i know a lot of you guys are going to have uh, clubs where you're going to want to keep these items so i've listed what i'm going to discard to show you guys you know what i would do with my club but i would advise keeping hold of the contracts if you are going to have a full club second pack now are we going to get another rare we are not sadly it's going to be a non-rare but that's cool uh, again um we're not really looking for amazing pack balls here we're just looking to try and get a start so we've got pookie who unfortunately isn't selling for anything we've got redmond who might be selling for a little bit he actually is he's selling for a decent amount of coins here so we're actually going to um we're going to list up Redmond. I'm going to check on Footbin for his actual price. Footbin's a fantastic uh, resource, by the way. I'll be using Footbin a lot in this video. Uh, not a sponsor or anything like that. I just really, really like Footbin. I think they're a great site. So he's about 1,300 coins, Redmond is. So we'll list him up and hopefully get a quick sale. Um, Sanabria, I don't know if he's selling or not. He is not. And Mexa, is he selling? He, I don't think, is either. No, he's not. I don't really care about 450s, to be honest. Um, I'm going to discard the rest of these, but I would, like I said, advise keeping contracts and fitness and chem styles that aren't expensive. Now we have four all-plays packs. Hopefully we can get, you know, something that will give us at least like 2,000 coins would be really, really nice to get from this. Um, a good start, obviously. Um, unfortunately, we're going to start off with a non-rare in this pack, uh, but let's see if we can get anything decent. So, uh, don't think he sells. In fact, I know they don't sell. Karsdorp might go for a little bit. Um, is he going for a little bit not really again it's not really worth it with the attacks to even try and sell that is turret selling for anything typically left left mids right mids stuff like that always tend to sell for a bit um now let's have a look at the silvers you're not selling none of these guys are typically going to be selling just for the simple reason that you know people aren't buying these kind of players now you could go through and list up every single one of these players individually you'd probably make more coins than i am by discarding them as well however i am doing what i think most the average player would do is what I'm trying to say. Um, I think the average player would discard it. So I'm just kind of going through and showing you guys what I would do if I was in this position. Um, and starting off, for example, I wrote a glory, just starting off a brand new account. This is what I would typically be doing. I'm just sort of taking you through what I would be doing normally. Um, so again, nothing really that sells. Uh, you are selling a Spanish center back here. That's decent. He's about a thousand ish coins. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, list him up for 1.2 and hopefully get a sale from him. Uh, then we have Sunjic, doesn't sell for anything. Don't think any of these guys are going to be selling for anything either. We'll go ahead and discard those items. 1.5k, we're up to 10,000 coins already. We've got two more all-player packs left as well. Can we get anything? A rare at least. No rare from this one. Again, disappointing, but it is what it is. A left back or a right back from the Prem would be pretty nice right now. Um, we have got ourselves Kushito. He might be selling for a bit. He is. He's going for about 800 coins, so that's probably worth listing up, to be honest. Um... 800 coins for Crescito. We have got Sami Nasri, who's actually it's pretty fun to see back in the game. Um, obviously, his, his stats are just absolutely awful, but it's nice to see him back in the game. Doesn't sell for anything. Castro, are you selling for anything? He is. He's currently going for 
how much are you currently going for castro let's actually have a look because i think he might be going for a really nice amount of coins here uh lucas castro is currently going for about I thought Ben has him at 700 coins because it's not updated yet. I'm going to list him up for about 1.4k. He might be going for a little bit more, but I'm going to list him up for that because that's what I'm happy with. Um, and then Koa, are you signing for anything? You are not. Um, don't think any of these guys, have you got five star? No, you haven't. Don't think any of these guys will be selling for anything. I mean, I could check this guy anyway, but he's in the Italia League too, so I don't really care. Solanke might sell for something, actually. Solanke might be a little bit. So we can actually get about 350 out of Solanke. So I'm going to list him up for that, actually. Um, and then I'm going to discard the rest of these items. Uh, we have one more pack left. Let's see if we can get something good in this last pack. Come on, EA, please. It's not a rare again, sadly enough. Uh, so go ahead and skip through that. So nothing spectacular from the packs. Um, we do have Danilo, who's going to be selling for a nice amount of coins. That is actually really, really good. He's going for about 1.6k. Um, so that is actually really sick. Go ahead and list that item up. Uh, we have Palacio. Are you selling right now? Palacio is not selling. Uh, Okozo, are you? Okozo is not selling. Rog, are you selling? Uh, Rog's not selling. Um, I don't think any of these guys are going to be selling either. No, you're not selling. Um, I already know these guys won't be selling. So go ahead and I stored them all in the club. I'm going to go through and discard them all as well. And I'll see you guys on the um, SBC screen. In order to actually do SBCs on FIFA, you actually have to start uh, do the Let's Get Start SBC. This gives you a few bronze packs that are untradeable. But you do get a gold two player pack, which could have something decent in. For the sake of the video, I'm not even going to open up the bronze packs because I know you guys don't care about that. I'm going to open those up off camera. But I thought I'd open up the gold upgrade pack that is actually not going to have a, a board in it. I mean, a gold in it. A rare gold, sorry. He's going to have a non-rare gold. So sadly, it wasn't good for us. But so I've seen some people get really good stuff from that that two-player pack, so I thought I'd record it anyway. Um, but I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so we've built the squad for the Around the World SBC. This is the first one I'm going to be doing. I believe you get a 50k pack from this. I'm actually not 100% sure. This cost me about 14,000 coins, roughly. This is the squad that I went with. I actually changed it a little bit from the original, so I didn't have to go for... Um, uh extra chemistry there you go i don't know why it glitched out so they didn't have the chemistry but we do have the chemistry therefore we get a rare players pack or a 50k pack for about 12 13 000 coins really really easy to do really cheap to do and gets you hopefully a decent start now the bare minimum discard value of this pack is about six and a half thousand coins if we pack anything of course that adds to uh what we get and if we sell all 12 rares we have to sell all 12 reds for at least a thousand coins each to uh, to break even and hopefully we get something worth a little something to get us started on the account but in my opinion these are the easiest way to make coins so hopefully we can get something decent uh we do of course have a rare it's gonna be at least a board drop it's gonna be an inform as well so we've made really good profit straight away is it marlin it's marlin 20,000 coins right there that is a fantastic fantastic start as you see, we've already doubled our coins pretty much. Um, he goes for about 26,000 coins. So straight away, doubled our coins. We could have some stuff in the pack as well. What else is in there? Is there anything else? Is a portion in there. Might be selling for a little bit. Uh, let's have a quick look. No, not really. Um, straight away, Marlin's currently selling for about 26,000 coins. Going to listen up for 24,750 to get a quick sale. Uh, Poulsen, I think, is selling for a little bit as well. Again, we're using Footbin to calculate the price, but for 15,000 coins or 14,000 coins, this SBC is returned already a bare minimum of 30,000 coins. We have doubled our coins, which is fantastic. Um, and we may even make more coins, which is uh, which is obviously great. Now, like I said, these SBCs are all incredibly cheap and great way of making making uh, making easy coins, sorry, um, at the start of the game. So I highly recommend you guys uh, get on it and get on the hype, really, and, uh, and start completing these SBCs. So... Bebu is selling for about 1.8 as well. So we'll list up Bebu. Um, and just make, you check, make sure you check literally everyone. Um, just in case some players are selling. Because randomly some players do sell for more than, than others. So make sure all these guys don't sell. And if they do, list up the ones that do sell. Joel Campbell, are you selling, sir? No, you are not. And last but not least, Kriver Kellia, I think his name is, isn't selling. So we'll go ahead and discard the rest of that for 5.5k. And as you'll see straight away, we are on 32,000 coins. We've at least doubled our coins from one SBC that cost us 14k in about five minutes of our life. So, yeah, very, very decent. Now, let's go ahead and do the next one. It's been about a day since the last clip I recorded. As you can see, we're in a different shirt. Um, now, what I've got to do is I've gone and done the first 11 league SBC. Now, this one gives you a 50k pack as well. Sadly, this one requires loyalty, which is why it's been a little bit longer. Um, it only took me about 10 minutes to get loyalty. And if you want to know how to get loyalty quickly, check out my video. It was uploaded for me yesterday. But for you guys, it might have been a week ago. might have been a couple days ago. Whenever you're watching this video, go and check it out on my channel, though. Uh, I'm sure it'll help you guys out a lot. Um, 
home. So I did require loyalty with these players um, to get the full chemistry with the team. However, uh, again, it was cheap. It was like, I think the whole team itself cost me about 10,000 coins and then contracts cost me about a thousand and a half coins roughly something like that i need to buy like eight eight contracts so i bid it on some and i bought some for 200 um so the contracts cost me like one point well i say 1.4k is probably fair and then uh the team itself cost me about 10k so all in all 11 ish thousand coins something like that maybe a little bit more give or take um but we've done it for a 50k pack so you'll see at the minute we are so one of your players yeah we don't care about that they're just in the squad that i use for loyalty um so as you see we're on 18,497 coins which have a loan base icon player that doesn't really matter for me on this account because this account is just sheerly about making coins um but we'll open it up regardless and we'll have a look what we can uh, what we can get in there we've got a badgio we didn't even get to choose we just got a badgio okay all right um so we've got a rare players pack now see if it's as good as the last one hopefully it is fingers crossed it is because the last one was really really good last one doubled our coins so let's see if we can get anything decent in this so it's going to be something it's going to be a walkout we've got a walkout it's going to be bosnian it's pianic you know what it's good. That's still good. I was about to complain. I don't know why. Uh, we've got a walkout. First walkout of the uh, of the video so far. He's only 8.8k. 8, 8. 8K. Little bit disappointed in terms of how walkouts go. But, you know what would take it? A little bit awkward that he's wearing a Roma shirt as well, you know. Uh, I'm guessing that brings up bad memories for Roma fans. <laughs> no, but um, he's about 8,800 coins, roughly. I can't see him rising a whole lot, uh, but that's how much he's currently going for. I don't see anyone straight away that sells for a large amount of coins. Um, so we've made probably a bit of profit on this. I don't think we would have made a whole lot of profit. I think we probably would have made like uh, a small portion of profit. In fact, when did it say? 10 minutes ago, it was 8.5k. So we'll list him up for like 8.2 thousand coins just to see if we can get a quick sale there. Is Raul Albiol selling? Um, he's selling for a good 2,000 coins to be fair. So that's not too bad. Uh, if we make profit, we make profit. That's that's the uh, that's the um, the aim of the game here. Uh, sadly though, you know we all we all want to get Ronaldo when we see a walkout, don't we? But I'll take it. I'll take a walkout. Van der Beek, are you selling for a little bit? Not really. No. Uh, Muslera, are you selling? No, um, Lamella might be selling for a bit for SBCs. Maybe for SBCs sake he is. Uh, he might be selling for about a thousand and a bit coins. So I'll list him up for like 1.1k or, or a thousand coins. My fingers don't want to do what I tell them to. Um, Enzonzi's not selling. This guy might be selling for a little bit. He is not. I thought he looked pretty good in his league. Uh, again, don't think any of these guys could be selling. Calero might sell for a little bit. No, he will not. Uh, Zarate and Junior. Uh, might as well quickly check. None of them are selling, and we'll go ahead and discard the rest. So, like I said, we've made a little bit of uh, a little bit of coins there. Five thousand coins from the Discord plus eight thousand coins that takes us to thirteen thousand coins for the pack, and then the two thousand, the one thousand coin plays. We've made about, I would say, sixteen k, seventeen k back from that pack, maybe a push. Um, given we spent about twelve thousand on it, we only made a few thousand coin profit. But at least we did make a profit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, complete a couple more SBCs now. The next SBC I've just completed is Elite 8. Now, this one literally cost me about 5,000 coins. I was picking up plays for like 550, 700, 450, 500, 450, 750. Uh, maybe a little bit more than 5,000 actually. Probably about six and a half, seven thousand. 7,000. But... Uh, for a Prime Gold Players Pack, that's not bad. Now, I'm not actually the world's biggest fan of Prime Gold Players Packs. I don't think they are the best kind of packs on the game. But... I don't think it's going to be really easy to not make profit. I think that it's going to be difficult to 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 not make profit from this. 7,000 coins for a Prime Gold Players Pack. Like, you should realistically be making profit on this. So, uh, we'll quickly open this up. And as you see, we don't actually get a board or anything like that. Um, as I said, Prime Gold Players Packs are absolutely terrible. But... With the plays in the pack, theory, theoretically, we should realistically be making profit or at least break even on this pack, I'd say. Um, straight away, Nathan Ake is selling for like 3,000 coins or 2,500 coins. So that already starts off the, um, the, the the profit making. Let me mute my phone as well. I do apologize for that. Um, so that's first of all, straight away. I know Musacho is selling for just over 1,000 coins as well because I had to use him for a different SBC. So um, there we go. We're already on 3,000 coins, almost halfway there to uh, the profit making uh, or the break even, should I say, the break even line um i think that correa is selling for about 850 we'll list him up uh i don't know if caputo is selling or not i don't think he is so we're gonna send that down is vasquez selling for anything he is he's selling for about maybe 1.1 1.2k 
Um, I'll list him up for 1.2 and see if we can get a sale out of him. Caputo obviously is not selling. Adnan Yanezai is selling for quite a lot. He's selling for like 3,000 coins. So that's actually beautiful, that is. We'll list him up for 3K. Um, so there we go. We've already broken even pretty much on the players that we've got. Uh, you don't sell. Regulion is uh, is selling for like 550. So we'll go ahead and list him up. Um, is Bunstinzia selling? He's not. We're going to discard him. Kone is selling for 500, 550. We'll list him up for 550. Uh, we'll go ahead and get a sale from that. And Lukumi or Lusumi. I don't know how to say this guy's name. And again, not really selling. We'll go ahead and discard that. So 2.1k from the discards plus at least 7,000 coins from the players. We've made a solid... Maybe 4,000, 5,000 coins profit from that pack, which I know isn't a lot, but at this start of FIFA is actually quite a lot of coins to make like 5k profit. Um, and we're going to move on to the next one now. I've now done Fiendish in Hybrid Leagues and Nations, or League and Nation Hybrid, should I say. Uh, gives us a mega pack for about 11,000 coins. Again, a really good return. So we're going to go ahead and open that and hopefully get ourselves something decent. That'd be great. Um, we have got a rare, of course. It is something. It's something. It is a walkout again. Come on. It's going to be... Ooh, it's going to be Oblak. No, it's not. It's going to be Handanovic. I'm an idiot. It's going to be Handanovic. Totally forgot he even existed. But 88 rated walkout now. Um, let's quickly go ahead and check how much he's going for on the old footbin. Uh, where are you now, uh, Handanovic? That is a good pack. Come on. What's he going for? 20,000 coins. We'll take it. Decent amount of coins. We've already doubled our coins now from what we spent on the SBC. Is there anything else in this pack? I mean, there's nothing really of too much value, but there's a few players that will sell here and there. So we'll sell uh, Handanovic straight away for about 20,000 coins. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to quickly double check if there's any uh, high bids on him. So there isn't. We're going to list him up. We're going to list him up for the min, uh, min list price and then 20,000 coin by now. Uh, Ilya Mendy might sell for a little bit given that he's Spanish in the Liga and he's 80, uh, 83 rated. Um, he might be selling for about 1.7k. Alwar, I think, is about 1,000 coins. Um, just over, maybe. We'll list him up for 1,000, so you can get a quick sale on him. Um, Casida doesn't sell. Uh, Jiku uh, isn't selling. Um, Andre Gray might be selling for a little bit. Um, no, not really either, unfortunately. Uh, Phillips, I don't think will sell. No, he won't. Um, and then we've got Strobel or Strossel. I think it's... Is it Strossel or Strobel? I don't know how to say it in German. Uh, McGregor. Conor McGregor, are you selling for anything? No, you are not. Okay, these guys just aren't selling for anything. But we have a lot of con uh, consumables that might be selling for a good amount here. So uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to... We're going to discard the, the non-rares. I don't think the non-rares have any chance of selling. I'm going to list up all the rare ones for 200 in the hopes that we can make a sale out of these. We get an extra 1,000 coins back from these five contracts. We have some squad fitnesses there that will sell at least for 600 coins. Maybe a little bit more, which is decent. Um, I'll have to quickly double check how much these are going for. Um... Yeah, these will all sell for at least 600 coins. So, how many how many of these have we actually got? We've got four of them. So, that's at least 2400 coins back as well. So, that's decent. We've got we've got 2400 coins back at bare minimum from the uh, from the consumables as well. So, I'll list up these as well. We've got a Cam Santa forward card. Don't know if these are selling or not. We'll have to quickly double check. Uh, maybe like a thousand coins, maybe a push. 800 coins. We'll list it up for 800. I don't mind listing it up for 800. Get a little bit of a quick sale there as well. Um, Architect, don't think it will sell at all. No, it won't sell. Same with all of these. Uh, discard the rest for 3.7k. And we'll find ourselves up to a lot of coins when everything sells. I think we'll be up to like 60k when everything sells. So we're looking really, really good. I've now done the advanced SBC for the hybrid leagues and nations. Uh, I'm going through the ones that don't require loyalty at the minute. This one gives me a 25,000 coin pack. It cost me roughly uh, about 8,000 coins to complete. Um, and I got premium gold players back for it. So it's not too bad. As you see, Handanovic has sold as well. So it'd be nice to get something decent from this pack to add on to our 46,000 coins that we've got right now. Um, and it is going to be something. What's it going to be? Not a walkout this time. It's going to be a board. It's going to be Brazilian. It's going to be centre mid. It's going to be Arthur. That's not bad at all, actually. Um, I have no idea how much he goes for. Uh, I, I I haven't really kept up with, with players like Arthur or, or any kind of uh, players like that. He's about 5,000 coins, so decent. We've almost made our money back already uh, just with the first player. Anything else in the pack? James Madison might be selling for a little bit. Um, so we're going to go ahead and list up Arthur for about... 
Is he is he about 5,000 coins? It said 36 minutes ago. So he might be going for a bit more or a bit less right now. Uh, I'll list him up for five and just see if he sells for five because uh, I'm happy with five. James Madison selling for about 1,000 coins as well. So that's not too bad. That takes us up to 6,000 coins. We only need 2,000 coins now, which we could get from the discards um, to break even, which as long as we break even at bare minimum, I'm happy with. Um, Jose Sa is selling as well uh, for about 1.4, 1.5k. Um, so I'm going to list him up for 1.5 so you can get a sale out of him. Um, Verbich, are you selling? Verbich is not really selling. Heinz, um, another one I don't think he's really selling all. Uh, so discard him. Stevens, are you selling? No, you are not. What about El Ahamadi? Nope. Um, Cissé? Cissé? No, no Cissé. Novak. Uh, no for Novak. Kadar? Nope. And last but not least, Kempf. Kempf, are you selling? About 400 coins. Not really too interested in that. So 3,000 coins for the discard, plus maybe six, six 7,000 coins for the uh, for the actual players. Takes us up to 55k, um, which is a decent a decent uh, bit of coins to be on. Let's move on to the next SBC. All right, so I've just completed the SBC. First of all, I'm going to clear out my transfer list and just show you guys what we've packed so far, because I think we've done pretty well so far. We're on 35,000 coins because we've just completed the SBC. That's cost me quite a bit, actually. I, I, I didn't really uh, anticipate it costing me as much, but a lot of players that said they were a lot cheaper on Footbin were actually quite hyperinflated. So uh, thanks for the SBCs on Footbin, obviously. Um, so I'm just clearing out everything that we've got sort of stored on here and we're gonna go ahead and, and complete the SBC so I've completed the whole nine yards SBC this one cost me I think nearly 20,000 coins actually players oh I don't know what I've just done players like this guy 3,000 coins or David V has gone up to 2.6k ridiculous I regret doing this one but you know you always get that feeling or at least I do when you get halfway through an SBC you think I've got to finish it now when you've bought players for example Cassias for nearly 2k who I guess for an 83 isn't too bad same with uh, 3k for Real Albiol I just got through it I was like I've got to finish it so we've got a mega pack for this I really 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 hope we can at least break even with this I really hope we can because I do regret doing it uh we'll see though so here we go with the mega pack come on EA please if ever I've needed something decent to break even with please it's not a board. Damn, it's not a board. EA. No, please. Something. No, oh, it's savage. All right. Berlin, Mendy, St. Maximin, Kimpembe, Ede, Militao. All four of them in this pack. Watch. 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 Oh, I'm so angry. I'm so angry with myself. I knew I shouldn't have finished off that SPC. I've got nothing. I've actually packed nothing from this. No. Oh, I, I knew it. I knew I wouldn't get anything from that. That was that's my own stupid fault, really. Uh, I've made a loss, maybe of about. I would say maybe we like at a push we might be able to break even if I'm really smart with this and I, I sell literally everything um, that does sell. Um, we'll see. I am kind of gutted after making so much progress to then go in and lose out by uh, by 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 finishing that SBC because I knew when I was doing it that I shouldn't have done it. So that's kind of my own fault. I would recommend you guys. If you start finding out an SBC has players like the players that I just bought there that end up being like two, three thousand coins, do not continue doing the SBC. It's not worth it. It really isn't. Um, find a better way to do it. Maybe you need loyalty to do it. I don't know. But yeah, find a better way to do it if you ask me. Um, but we've really not done well there. We've not done well with the SBC at all. Um, I'm going to hopefully try and make some coins back. I really hope there's some expensive uh, consumables here as well. Uh, I don't think this guy... I mean, this guy's selling for a little bit, actually. I'm not entirely sure why he's 200 coins, but I'm pretty sure that's what he discards for anyway, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, he literally discards for 200 coins anyway. All right, let's discard the contracts. Uh, list one up for 200 coins. Discard manager ones, individual fitness. One squad fitness. Are you kidding me, EA? You're really doing me dirty here, EA. They've, they've, they've snapped at the opportunity to, to make me lose a bunch of coins. I'm going to list this for 200. Hopefully, he sells. Um, left mid to left wing. Are you selling? About 1,000 coins for this. We'll take 1,000 coins. Uh, what, about, what else have we got here? We've got another left mid to left wing. Another 1,000 there. Um, right, for, right wing to right forward. They're selling for a little bit. What is this selling for? It's like, what? I'm going to guess like 1,300 coins. Something like that. We'll list that up for. Um... Cam to center forward. These usually sell for quite a good amount of coins as well, I feel like. So about a thousand coins for this as well, I'd say. Uh, and then we've got stuff that is just, you know, discards. So 5k for the discards plus 
yeah, we've probably lost about 9,000, 10,000 coins from that, which is kind of annoying. So we've got to try and make that back. So we've just done the Challenger SBC. This one cost me about 5,000 coins, roughly. We get a Rare Mix Players Pack. Now, it's not the best pack. Um, I've gone ahead and, uh, and completed this one, though, because I thought that... You know, possibly having uh, four guaranteed rare gold players, we could get incredibly lucky. And if not, maybe we get something that sells for a little bit. I think it'll be fairly easy to make uh, a bit of coins back. And we have actually got something. It's not a walkout, but it is a board. What's it going to be? It's going to be Brazilian again. It's going to be centre back. It's going to be David Luiz. You really, when you get Brazilian, you want left mid or you want CDM. But... We'll take David Luiz. Um, I think he'll be selling for a little bit. I'm not entirely sure if he's selling for a lot, but David uh, David Luiz. Oh, and Pedro. Not bad. I think I think we've got some decent coins here, actually. 4.8k for David Luiz is good. So, 4,700 coins is what I'm going to list him for. Hopefully get a sale out of him. Um, Pedro selling as well, I think, for a little bit. Uh, guarantee because of some SBCs here and there. 1.6k. So, we've already made coins back from this one. Um... I was hoping this would be a big one to make coins back on, to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you, but I don't think it's going to be huge. Matic, I'm going to quickly see if he sells for anything as well. Uh, Matic literally doesn't. He's he's completely discard. Uh, what about Zhao Mario? Um, Zhao Mario, what are you selling for, sir? Anything about 850. Ah, well, I mean, we'll sell it, I guess. There'll be a lot of selling, so it'll probably take ages to sell. Osborne, are you selling? Um, Osborne, Osborne, Osborne. Could be selling for a bit. I'm going to list him up for like 350, see if he sells. Um, just, just hopefully get a sale out of him, make a little bit of coins back. Cosgrove, anything for you? No, unfortunately not. Uh, Stockdale, what about you, sir? 350 again, I think, maybe. Um, uh, we'll list him up for. And last but not least, Zapater. Doesn't look like he's selling for anything either. Uh, I'll discard the rest because I don't think that bronzes are selling for anything this year. 1.3k. But, I mean, not that we made a huge amount of coins, but we did make some coins back. So, we're clawing back that loss we made in the last one. Um, so that's not too shabby. Got and finished off advanced hybrid leagues and nations now. Puzzle Master, they're completed. We get a rare mega pack for this. Uh, not only that, but we also get ourselves um, 12,000 coins. So the SBC itself cost me about 18,000 coins. Plus the 12,000 coins back, we're at a 6,000 coin deficit right now. So hopefully we can make 6,000 coins back from a rare mega pack. And uh, they're decent packs. So let's, uh, let's actually open this up and see what we can get back. So here we go with the rare mega pack. EA, come on. Can we get another walkout? That is the question. That is what I'm hoping to see. Um, it isn't going to be even be a board. It's not even a board, man. Damn, that's so annoying. Not even a board. It's going to be Harry Maguire. I've never seen a card. More fitting. Um, we'll take it. No board is really frustrating. Um, I was really hoping we could get at least a board there. Um, in fact, this is actually quite a poor pack. So we've got ourselves a Harry Maguire. So we'll go ahead and list up Harry Maguire for 1.3k. Um, their course, I'm almost guaranteeing doesn't sell. Uh, heroin might sell for a little bit. Again, don't think so. Junior Furpo might be selling for a bit. Um, yeah, he's in like the, the 3,000 coin mark, something like that. I'm going to list him up for 2.8 to 3,000 coin. Ah, uh, let's list him up for 3k. We'll go all the way to 3k. Hopefully you sell him for that. Um, Borja Falera, I'm guessing, isn't selling. Uh, and I'm completely right. Same with Moisander. Uh, might be selling for like a little bit for an SBC. Isn't even selling for a bit for an SBC. Uh, same with Lee and Mando, I'm guessing, isn't selling. Uh, Baba Raman, are you selling? Um, Hernandez, are you selling? No. Okay, so none of these guys are selling. I'm actually going to keep these contracts for future SBCs because we do need them for loyalty. Uh, we'll list up these um, these squad fitnesses as well, which are going to give us a good amount of coins back. We've definitely made profit on the SBC, including 12,000 coins, but that's meant to like cover the whole, uh, the whole group, not necessarily just, um, just that one SBC. So... Kind of unfair just to say that, that we've made uh, profit back when, eh, I mean, we haven't really made profit back, but eh, I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll take it nonetheless. Again, another 800 coins roughly for this. Anything else that sells, please, EA, save me. Nope, no coin bonuses, nothing. 5,000 coins for the discard will take us up to 40-something thousand coins, plus what we get from the place. But we're on about 47k um, with some stuff selling still. What is selling still? Let's quickly uh, clear out the transfer list. So we've probably got, I don't know, maybe another 1,000, 2,000 coins there. So we'll be up to 50k. I mean, that's not too bad, to be fair. Considering we haven't spent a penny, to get up to 50k in a day um, is actually not too bad. And uh, and obviously, depending on your look, you can even probably get better than that, to be fair. Um, that is just uh, That's just... 
where I've sort of got to uh, in this period of time. Okay, so I've gone and finished off hybrid leagues. Now we're really close actually to the end of all of these SBCs. Um, so this is the give me five SBC, cost me about four and a half, five thousand coins. We only get a prime mix players back back, but what we're thinking more of is the end reward for completing the entire SBC. Now, seven, uh, seven, seven league boots. Um, I'm not entirely sure about that name, but this one again cost me about 6,000, 7,000 coins at a push. Um, and we got ourselves back a Prime Electrum Players Pack. Again, not the best pack in the world, but for completing the whole group, we actually get ourselves another rare Mega Pack. So, fingers crossed we could do well. Now, we're sat at about 40,000 coins. We've got three half decent, well, two half decent and one very good pack to open back. Hopefully, we can make some decent coins back from these and uh, get up to about 50, 60,000 coins at least would be uh, the goal. So, first one now. Let's open this up. It's not going to be a board drop, unfortunately, but there are a few plays under 83 rated that could be really good to get. Apologies, just had to go down and answer the door, so I'm a little bit out of breath. I live in a three-story house, so running up and down. Quite a lot. Anyway, uh, we've got Rugani in this pack. Um, he is selling for about 1,500 coins. I will list him up for that. We've also got ourselves Gomez Andrade, who isn't selling. But what I'm looking for in these packs is the non-rares that are selling for a good amount because of League SBC. So I'm checking all of them, just in case. Uh, they're not selling. Poulter, are you selling? <laughs> Sorry, by the way, heavy breathing, I do apologize. Like I said, just ran all the way up three three flights of stairs, so I'm a little bit out of breath. Let's just say I'm not on the uh, the, hell, <laughs> the the fittest of sides. Um, I think we can all uh, agree on that one anyway. Um, Gomez, are you selling for anything? Ooh, this guy might be selling for a bit, you know. I know that uh, Argentina left backs are selling for a bit at the minute, so I'm going to list him up for about 800, oh sorry, 700 coins, just hopefully get a cheeky sale out of him. Uh, this guy's not selling... I'm going to store these guys just in case I need them for a future SBC that requires bronze players because a couple of them do. Uh, we've got a prime election players back now. Let's see if we can get anything decent in this. Um, what can we get? So it's another rare. Oh, it is something. It's a board drop. We've got a board drop. It's going to be uh, Dutch. It's going to be CDM. It's going to be Daily Blind. So 83 rated. Um, not the best, unfortunately, but we'll take it. A nice board drop. We'll happily take a board drop. I was actually hoping that was an inform then, but it wasn't. Um, but we'll take an A3 raid board drop there. Uh, we've also got Piatek there, who might be selling for a bit. So Daily Blind, are you selling, sir? He is selling for a little bit, maybe about 1.5k. Uh, we'll list him for that. Piatek, are you selling for anything? By the way, if I if if anyone's selling for a good amount of coins and I I don't sell them for that or I discard them or or sell them for a lot less than what they're going for, I do apologise. I'm trying to do it fairly quickly so that this video isn't an hour long, but at the same time showing you guys everything I've been doing really. So yeah, um, Lopez, are you selling for anything? Lopez might be selling for a little bit and he's not. Um, last one, Rosario, are you selling for anything, sir? He is not selling for anything. Chavez, are you selling? Um, no, not really. Obiora. Ob no, um, Aridane? No, I don't think these guys are going to be selling. I'm just going to store them just in case I need them. And now for the rare mega pack that we've been looking forward to opening. Here we go. Come on, please be better than the last one. The last one I don't think was a board. So if we can get at least a board, that would be a lot better than the last one. And that is a board, at least a board. Yeah, it's a board drop. We'll take it. What's it going to be? It's going to be, ah, uh, it's going to be... Oh, actually, no, Milinkovic Savage. I thought it was going to be Jovic, but Mini Savage is actually decent. I think he's about 15k at least. Uh, how much is Milinkovic going for? Milinkovic, Savic, are you selling for a good amount? I think he's like 14, 15k at least. Ah, uh, he's about 12k, but even still, 12,000 coins is decent. I think that'll take us up over the 55,000 coin mark. Um, what else have we got in this pack? Pickford as well. I was hoping that'd be a different 83 rated in English player. The one that plays for May United, if you know what I'm talking about. But... You know what? We'll take it anyway. I'm going to list them up for 11,500 coins. Um, Pickford, I don't think, is selling for a whole lot, but I will check just in case he is selling for a decent amount. Um, he's 5K nearly. Okay. I'll list Pickford up for 4.8K. Get a sale out of him. Thank you very much. Samaris, are you selling, sir? I don't think any of these guys are going to be selling. Uh, we'll quickly check all of them, though. Just give them a quick uh, once over in case any of them are selling for a good amount. Uh, Dejanini, um, no. Uh, Maya might be selling for a bit. No, not really. Um, Saw might be selling for a little bit. Oh, my word. Saw is selling for a good amount. I think he's like 5K. Oh, my word. 4.4k for Saar. I'll happily take that. I'll listen for 4.2. Just undercut a little bit to get a quicker sale. Um, Vargas, are you selling? Um, no, not really. And Olaza might be selling as well. Might be selling for a little bit. I'm actually going to list this guy up for like 900 coins because we might be able to get a sale out of him. Uh, then we do have Frank Lampard who could also be selling just because it's Frank Lampard, the legend. And he is. He's about 1.2k. We'll take that. Um, we'll list up Frank Lampard. Uh, Potter won't be selling. 
Uh, I'm going to keep the contracts as well. Uh, we've got squad fitnesses out of the wazoo. We'll take all of these. This is lovely. Uh, we've got at least, what, like 2,400 coins out of these. Um, so that's also very, very nice. We've made a lot of coins back from this pack. We've uh, we've definitely made up for the losses we've made previously in this video. Uh, Set them into cam. I don't think sell for much, do they? No, I think they're probably like 300 for that. Um, cam to send to mids, though. These will be selling. But 1.8k for that. Uh, we'll take it. What else have we got? We've got a CM to CDM, who again, I don't think sells for much. Oh, actually, I'm completely wrong. It's about about 1,000 coins. I'll take, well, I'll take 1,000 coins out of that. Um, that doesn't sell, that doesn't sell. And we've got a gold pack out of it as well. So we've got at least another 1,000 coins from the discards of that. We'll take it. That is actually, that's why it's out really well. We're up to 61,000 coins now, and I guarantee not everything's sold. Um, we do have a gold pack that's going to be a non-rare, but we don't really care about that because it's a free pack, and we'll take whatever we get in a free pack. It's just going to add to the coins we've already made. Carlos Sola is actually selling for a little bit as well. He's about 700 coins. We'll list him up. Um... Carlos Sola will sell there. Uh, Selikiov, I don't think will sell. Same with um, Galliardini. Um, oh, no. Galliardini might be selling for a little bit, actually. We'll, we'll list him up for like 700. I do see a Hawk there as well. Hawks do sell. Uh, what is Hawk going for? About 800 coins as well. So that's decent. We've actually done really well here. Um, and we're just going to discard the rest. Uh, let me just double check this kit real quick. It's a nice looking kit and it doesn't sell for anything. All right, we'll, do, we'll discard the rest. We've made good coins back, actually. We're up to 76,000 coins now. That's actually really, really good. And we're done. We've got 69,000 coins right now. We've just completed Hybrid Nations, the final four SPC. It cost me roughly 4,000 coins. If that, it was really, really cheap to complete. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go and submit that. Every time I see that, I, I kind of get nervous thinking that I'm submitting someone wrong. But I know that I'm doing all right here. Um, then we have the six of the best. Again, very cheap SPC. This one cost me about four and a half, th five thousand coins. Um, I used a couple of plays from my club as well to do this that I got from my starter pack. So go ahead and submit that. And Hybrid Nations is completed, completing all three of the advanced SPCs and uh, and showing you guys the easiest way to make coins on this game. We've got to 70,000 coins and we have three packs left to open. I mean, if that doesn't show you that it's easy to make coins on this game, and this is probably one of the best methods, I don't know what does. So we have a gold players pack now. We're not going to get a board. I am going to skip it. Um, we could get some decent non-rares in here that sell for a good amount, and I'm hoping that we do. Uh, the rare is going to be Endai, who I don't think sells, uh, although looks like a decent card, doesn't sell. Then we have Marcos Urente, who I think does sell, actually does sell for a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to list him up for about 1,100 coins. Um, Samuel Castillejo, or Castillejo, I don't know how to say his name. Again, 1,100 coins I'm going to list him up for. Um, another player that will sell for a little bit. We have Gu... Who, I don't know. I know this guy doesn't sell because I've just actually bought him. Ochoa, who I don't think sells. I'm not entirely sure. Might sell, actually. Um, no, Ochoa does not sell. Uh, Piccini should sell for a little bit. Um, given that he's a right back in a popular league. So we'll list him up for 750 and hope that we get a good sale out of him. We have Claudemir, who doesn't sell. I already know that he doesn't sell. Um, Zerutzia, uh, do you sell, sir? Don't think this guy will sell either. Um, I, the, the reason why non res will sell is sheerly for SBCs. I just don't think this guy is, uh, you know, used for SBCs. Uh, at all. He might be, actually. No, he's not, unfortunately. Um, same with this guy. I don't think this guy will sell for anything. And I am 100% correct. Um, Elena might sell. This guy should sell for a little bit, maybe? No. Completely incorrect from me there again. Rest Retzos doesn't sell. And Arslan will have a look. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Holy moly. Okay. This guy sells for a hell of a lot of coins. This guy, I was going to be like, this guy doesn't sell and almost discard him. This guy sells for a, an absolute stonking amount of coins. We're going to list him up for 8,000 coins and hopefully get a quick sale. Discard the rest for 2.7k. We've made good coins back from that gold players pack. We're up to 80,000 coins now. Electrum players pack next. Hopefully we get a gold rare out of this. Um, which we are not going to do, unfortunately. Um, and I don't, don't, you know, hopefully get another Arslan out of that because that would be actually fantastic. Uh, we've got Ruben Loftus-Cheek who might sell for a little bit given that, you know, he might be good for a couple of non-rare starter squads, for example. Um, we have Lucas Poqueta who actually might be selling for a little bit as well. I'm going to list him up for eight or 750, should I say. Um, Junior Moreas, uh, are you selling, sir? Maybe for a little bit as well. Uh, we'll list him up for 800 just in case he does sell. Westwood might be selling. No, not really, unfortunately. Um, Guidetti might be selling, maybe. Um, again, not really. And Turan, are you selling, sir? Not really. The rest of these, I am going to... I'll check Higuita. 
Nope. Um, just thinking none of them really look like they're going to sell for anything. So I'll go ahead and discard the rest for 1.6k. Puts us up to 84,000 coins and we have a rare mega pack left. Come on, EA. Let's end it on a bang. Can we end it on a walkout? That is the question. Can we? It's going to be a rare. It's going to be something. It's not going to be a walkout, though, disappointingly. It's going to be French. It's going to be left wing. It's going to be Anthony Martial. We've ended it on a huge player. We've ended it on a huge player. Oh, my word. 62,000 coins, that card is. Oh, my word. We've ended it on a huge pack. Let's go. Come on. That is fantastic. This card is 62,000 coins, according to Footbin. Oh, my word. I'm going to list him up for 60k and hope to get a quick sale out of him. That is fantastic. Farman is, again, I think about 1.1k. We'll list him up. Vass, I know, selling for a little bit as well. I don't know if, he, I don't know if he's selling for vast amounts, but he's like 2... <laughs> selling for like 2.6k. Um, Masashi is about 1,000 coins as well. Um... Don't think that Mandanda's selling for anything. Uh, in fact, I'd, I'd put money on him not selling for anything. Same with Zeluis. Uh, same with Kalu. This guy's not selling. Uh, Kuka, again, don't think he's selling. Acosta might sell for a little bit if he sells, but yeah, he's not really selling for anything. Uh, Masawaki will be selling for a bit. There you go, 2.2k there. Uh, we'll get this up for 2.2 and get the sale out of him. Schweinsteiger, I know, isn't selling. And is Dennis selling? Dennis is... Uh, I mean, he might be going for about, like... 850, 950, something like that. Um, now for the consumables. I'm actually going to discard the rest of these because this is an account I'm not going to use anymore. Um, obviously, you guys will probably either list them up or use them. I'm probably not going to be using this account much anymore. But um, we'll take the uh, we'll take the 600 apiece on the squad fitnesses. I think there's a pack at the end of this as well. There is. Hopefully, that's another gold pack. That would be pretty cool. Um, right back to right wing backs are selling for a little bit as well, if I'm not mistaken, because I actually had to buy some. What an amazing end to this video. That is fantastic. And strikers to center forward cards are also maybe like 400 coins. So um, we'll list out over 400. Uh, these aren't selling. That's not selling. And another gold pack to end it off. So 5k from the discards. 60,000 coins from Anthony Martial puts us up to 150k. Easiest way to make coins on this game. And it's fun because you get to open packs. Honestly, if you're not doing the advanced SBCs, get them done. They are so easy to make coins from. And the gold pack ends us off with stuff that, I mean, maybe that's going to sell for like 550. Um, I don't know if this guy's going to sell or not. I don't. I doubt it. Same with uh, with Kang Lee. Uh, Lang might be selling for a bit, though. Lang might be a teeny bit. No, he's not, unfortunately. I thought he might be good for SBCs. And then send, if, send him into CDM cards are about 1.4, I think. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll list that up and we'll discard the rest and let's have a look at our final coin total for the video. What an amazing end to the video. So 37 items are selling. Let's go ahead and, uh, and clear out our, uh, our transfer list. Now we've got a few items selling still thousand coins here and there. Um, if I was to give you a good estimation of how many coins we'll end up off on this account, I'd say 170,000 coins is pretty, um, is pretty accurate to what we'll end up on with this account. If I was to sell, you know, for example, if I was to quick sell all the silvers we, we stored and the bronze and stuff like that, I think 170,000 coins coins it, it took me uh, i've been recording for about two hours um today and i recorded for about an hour yesterday so all in all it took me about three hours to get through it all um for 170,000 coins without spending a penny in my opinion it's fantastic value and you could even get better pack look than me or possibly worse in my opinion i think you'll always end up with at least 50 to 100k from these spcs and i highly recommend you guys doing it. if you did enjoy this video it's a little bit different to usual leave a like down below and let me know you enjoyed it in the comments down below i'd love to bring more of these kind of videos thank you all for watching and i'll see you later